Hi, welcome to a new IT Business Essentials tutorial. My name is Carlos and today we will talk about Google Drive and tips for taking advantage of this great service. What is Google Drive? Google Drive is cloud storage service from Google. It works for business and personal use as well. You get 15 gigabytes of free storage with your Gmail account. You can get larger storage with other Google services like a Google One or Google Workspace for Business. You will find links in the description. There are two words that describe Google Drive, productivity and collaboration. It gives you the flexibility to work from anywhere and share it with anyone. It allows you to work with others like never before. I'm not trying to say that this is the best and only cloud storage. There are other great services like a OneDrive, iCloud or Dropbox. But today is about Google Drive, which by the way, is one of the best cloud storage services. Google Drive comes with productivity tools like a Google Docs, Sheets, Slides and many others. You might be thinking, is it safe to have my files in the cloud? In my opinion, the answer is, if you configure Google Drive properly, yes, it is safe. It could be safer than having your files in your own computer. Talking about security, which is highly recommended, you should enable two-step verification, recovery email, and the recovery phone number. We will show you at the end of the video how to do this. How can you access Google Drive from any device via web? I mean, using your browser. Google Chrome is recommended for Google Drive. You can also download the app on your computer and in your mobile device. Let's jump into our computer and see how it works. If you want to support my effort creating this kind of content, and if you want to find these and other videos like this one in the future, don't forget to hit the subscribe button here below. I'm now in my computer and I open the browser and I will access my Gmail account. By the way, what we are going to do here will work exactly the same if we have a Google Workspace account. I mean, a business account. So in my case, I'm going to access my Gmail account and you can also go directly to drive.google.com. I enter my password and to access Google Drive, I will need to click on the upper right corner where you see the nine little dots and you will look for the drive icon. Now I access my Google Drive. If it is the first time that you access Google Drive, you will find all this area completely blank. In my case, I can see some files and folders. In this area, by the way, we have a quick access. These are the most recent files I have worked with. Here below, you will find the folders and files that you have within your drive. When you start working with Google Drive, you can start organizing your information by creating folders and uploading files or creating files. If you do right click, for example, here, you will be able to create new folders, upload files, up up upload folders, or you can create documents. You can do the same. If you click on the new button here on the left, you will be able to create folders, upload files, and so on. So let's say that I want to create a new folder. Click here, enter the name of the folder, and click Create. My new folders will show up here with the other folders. If you can see here, we have folders with different colors. That is something that I can set up. For example, this new folder, if you, if you do right click on the folder, you will be able to change the color of the folder. Let's choose pink, for example. So this is a nice way to recognize a specific folders. You can also create, for example, a new document. You click here or do right click and create, for example, a new Google Docs. The new document will open in a new tab. In the upper right corner, you can give it a name and it will be saved automatically. If you click here on this little folder, you will be able to move this document to a specific folder. Let's move it, for example, to the personal docs folder. We click on move. When I go back to my drive, and if I click under personal docs, you will find the new document right here. On the left side, we can click on my drive and it will take me directly. You can click on my drive 
it will take me back where I can see the recent document and also the folders. On the, on the left side, I can also see share with me, which are documents or folders that have been shared with me. I can see recent are the recent files that I have worked with or start. These are like my favorite files or folders. And we have the trash folder where I can recover documents that I have, documents or folders that I have deleted. Another way to place documents or folders within my drive is by dragging the folder or files into my drive. Let's do this, for example. I have here some folders in my desktop. I can just grab it and move it to my drive. It will be uploaded immediately. I can do the same with a specific file. By the way, I can store any type of files within Google Drive. I can drag it and drop it here. And it is being loaded as well. I can also move this file. This is an Excel file. I can move it to one to Google Drive. And I can open this file directly from Google Drive. This is an Excel file that would be opened by Google Sheets, which is the spreadsheet version of Google. Going back to my drive, on the top of my drive, I will find this search tool, which is great. It, it is a powerful tool to search within your drive. If you highlight any folder or file, you will see this menu here on the top right corner. And here you will be able to, use, it says, get a link. It will create a link that you can send to anyone and that person will have access to that folder or file. Then you can also have this option here to share. You will be able to type the email of the person you want to share the folder or file with. Let's say, for example, that we are going to share this folder and then you will be able to select what kind of access will have that person to your folder or file. The person will be able, in this case, will be able to just view or comment on the, on the files or they can, the person can edit the file. If you just want the person to view the file, then you just click here so the person won't be able to modify it or edit your file folder. Then you can also have the options to remove or delete the file folder. And here you have additional actions. So you were able to upload files to your Google Drive. You can also download files from your Google Drive to your computer. In general, do right click on the file and you will have a lot of actions about that file. One of them is download files. We can also create a copy of the file. We can also manage version of that file. When you look at a specific file, you can see beside, I mean, you can see the name of the file. You can see who created or who owned the file, the time that was the, the last time that it was modified and the size of the file. For some files, if the file has been shared, you will see beside the name, you will see this little persons here. It means that I have shared this document with someone else. So this is how you access Google Drive from your browser. It is possible the most popular way to access it. However, you can also access it from your computer. I mean, you can download the apps. You can sync your Google Drive with your computer. You will be able to do that by clicking here on this little wheel on their settings. And then you will see this option here, get back up and sync for Windows. If you have a Mac, it will also give you the options to back up and sync your files with, uh, within your Mac. And you can also have the option to access your Google Drive from your mobile using the mobile app. On your mobile, you will need to download the app. If you have an Android device, it will be from the Google Play. If you have an iPhone, it will be from the App Store. One final tip about Google Drive, as we mentioned in the introduction, it is highly recommended to set up the two-step verification for your account. To do that, you will need to click on the upper right corner here, and then you click on Manage your Google account. Then on the left, you will find Security. Click here. 
and then you scroll down and you will find this section here signing into Google and you and you should enable two-step verification it will add an extra layer of security to your account so in order to access your account you will need to enter a code that is sent to your phone that will increase the security to access your account you should also add the recovery phone and the recovery email address here in this section under ways ways we can verify it is you what we have seen here for google drive works exactly the same it is a personal account with your gmail account or if it's a business account with google workspace the main difference between google workspace or in your free account are that the storage is larger for the google workspace and also the capabilities the administrator can manage and control the permissions that you will have within different areas of your google drive with this, we conclude our session today about Google Drive. If you find this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave it below. If you want to see more videos like this one in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.